Hello, and today I'm going to show you another method that you can use for resizing designs that you have digitized in Embird Studio. Um, I'm going to be using this design right here uh, that you see. And the first thing, um, I'm actually an Embird editor right now. Um, so we're going to actually close this design out and then go into Embird Studio. Um, we will go ahead and open this file and you can see this is actually uh, sized for an 8 by 12 hoop. So before in the, the last video on resizing um, I showed you how to like take the corner and drag it uh, to a size that you want uh, and then you could move it around and things like that. Well, there is a different way of doing it, and I'm about to show that to you now. So, um, to undo this resize right here, uh, what I would do would be edit, and then undo, uh, and undo again, which will take it to the original size. The first undo uh, that I did, undid the move uh, from where I moved it back towards the center. So now uh, what I want to do is I want to do a control A to select all of my points or all of my objects or I can go in there, click the first one, uh, shift click the bottom one to select them all. But I'm doing a control A, it's a shortcut. Um, then I want to uh, click the transform tab at the top and then select transformation window. Or Control Alt T will get you the transformation window as well. Now I want to uh, click on the little uh, icon that has the arrow going up and the arrow going out to the right. That is the resize. Um, and I am using millimeters because uh, most of the hoops that you see, I mean, like it's a 4x4, but they consider that a 100 by 100 millimeter, or a 5x7, which is a, a 130 by 180 millimeter. And you can get very, very precise in your sizing when you go by millimeter. Say, if you wanted, uh, or if you're digitizing quilt blocks and for your 5x7 hoop, you wanted all of your designs to be exactly the same height um, you could do it this way and uh, that you could select the height and it would adjust everything out and it's important to do the keep aspect ratio because if you don't then while it may drop the height the width may stay the same so keeping that aspect ratio will drop both sides together, you know, the height and uh, the, the width. So what I'm going to do now is instead of you can do a right click to make this go up or a left click, or excuse me, you can do a left click to, to make it go up or a right click to make it go down. Um, what I'm going to do is actually, since I know the size I want, is click on the little arrow and I want my width or my height to be 125 millimeters and that um, will fit comfortably in a 5x7 hoop and notice that it changed um, the width as well um, we're gonna hit apply boom, and there goes down the design to 125 millimeters tall so I can close this window now and now that I have the width and the height changed I can go in and change my hoop so we've covered this before where you can check, uh, select your hoop size go in here and I'm going to go back up to the top which is uh, the brother uh, 8200 you know, large hoop which is the 130 by 180 millimeter which is your 5 by 7 hoop and I'm keeping this uh, little check here which turns the hoop on its side so that way that the, the dog will be faced in there correctly and you won't have to uh, 
turn the design once you get it loaded into your machine. So then, uh, after that, after I changed my hoop side, uh, size, it kept it in the location that it was for the other hoop. So go back to transformation or transform and then hit bring to center and it will bring that design to the center of your hoop. And now you can see there's a little bit of room on the top, a little bit of room on the bottom and this uh, design will fit nicely in there. It's a uh, little over six inches wide so uh, there's plenty of room on the left and right. So that is how you would uh, change it. Also, if, if you're going to be making multiple sizes, do a save as so that you can save this as your, you know, um, dog outline or dog days five by seven and go ahead and do that. And then that way you can uh, compile it and put it into editor but you will have both of them so hope you enjoy and we will talk to you later bye